Okay, so what is now months and months ago, I did a video on this thing here, Ranger the File Manager, um, and it was pretty well received, um, but I've, it's gotten to the point where my channel has gotten so big that no one sees those old videos, um, and I guess it's worthwhile to do a video on this again, not just because, you know, a lot of people haven't seen it and I get questions about this thing all the time, um, but also because I've added a bunch of stuff to my configs and stuff like that, so it's worth sort of going over. Um, but anyway, so this is Ranger. Ranger, it is a terminal file browser. It is very convenient, very customizable, uh, just generally nice. I use it all the time, um, especially when I'm moving files. I don't actually even rely on the command line a lot for doing files file manipulation because in a lot of ways it's easier to optimize in Ranger than anything else. Um, so anyway, let's let's get into it. Let me make it a little bigger here. Uh, and um, so it's Vim based by default. So J goes down, K goes up, uh, H goes into the previous directory or you know up a directory level and L goes in, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so generally it, it's supposed to be Vim based. So GG goes to the top, capital G goes to the bottom, etc. Um, pretty much how you'd expect or whatever. Um, so let me actually go into, let me go into this uh, directory here so we can play around with it. Um, renaming files is CW change word, you know, just sort of like in Vim. Uh, so I can go to one of these files, let's say I want to change this one, you know, this one or something like that. I'll change it to ice. Uh, jpg um, and now it's been renamed there are also other ways to rename files so sort of like in vim you know how vim has like capital a to go to an in, it go to the end of a line you can actually press capital a to rename a file and it'll allow you to go to the end of the file name and add something if you want or if you do capital i just like in vim it goes to the beginning of that line and lets you add stuff or something like that um, now I also have a binding AA, which goes right before, I think there's a binding for this in default uh, in Ranger, but I'm remapping to AA because there's some conflict uh, that I wanted to map. Um, but it allows you to add stuff right before the extension, right? Um, so those are all very convenient for basic, uh, you know, file manipulation and stuff like that. Um, so in addition, there are, it's very easy to add console commands, even ones you use all the time. So um, I add MKD, for make a directory, so we'll call this new deer or something like that. Um, and I also have bindings like capital V, which allows me to just create, uh, a, you know, it runs a Vim command. So if I want to run something like a new, um, I can go ahead and make a file in Vim, save that, and that's that. Um, now I have remapped some of these, but anyway, I'll, I'll get into that in a bit. So basically it's easy to make directories, make folders, stuff like that. Um, other things I have, uh, let's say I can, uh, I have an external script that extracts or compresses files. Um, so I have this map to Ranger. So if I want to, let's say, take, well, I should say, um, to highlight things in Ranger, you just press space and you can run certain commands on all those things, space to highlight or unhighlight. So let's take these last two files and I have mapped capital Z to zip these up in a tar GZ file. So that's what this thing is here, very convenient. Um, or I can extract that with X. Again, this is just something I've uh, mapped and I have an extract script that automatically detects what file extension it is and zips it out wherever. Um, now you can delete stuff in Ranger with D capital D. Um, I actually think that's too many key presses for something so basic as deleting. So I just have it mapped to capital D and press enter to actually run it. And if it's a directory or multiple files, it is gonna prompt you with a yes or no if you actually wanna delete it, just to be extra careful. Um, so that's extracting, moving things around. Well, I should say, how do you actually move things from one directory to another? Um, now you can highlight things, as I said, with space. I'm gonna get rid of this thing though. Let's say I wanna copy these two files into this directory. You can highlight things and to yank them, just like in Vim, YY. Uh, so I can go to this directory and just like in Vim, you paste them in with P. Well, it's actually two P's, um, but you know, that will map them in here. Now I should say if I, uh, if these things are, if I still have these copied and I press PP again to uh, paste them in, you'll notice that it automatically detects that there's a replicant file here and, you know, renames it, you know, when you paste it in. Uh, you can overwrite things. So if double P is paste something in, um, you can uh, you can press P and then O 
and that is going to overwrite any files that are already named that, just to, to be clear. Um, so you can paste things in pretty easily. A YY is yank, copy. Uh, DD is cut or, you know, uh, cop or yeah, cut basically. Um, so all of those things are pretty sensible. Um, if you notice that these things are highlighted right now, if I want to unhighlight them, you can just press UV. Uh, notice that they're still blacked out and that's because they're actually yanked. Uh, if I want to unyank them, I can press UY. Nice and simple. Um, now I also sh should say that Ranger has something sort of like a visual mode. So I can do something like VS and that allows me to sort of scroll up and down and you'll notice that it's going to highlight everything I scroll over. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to press VS again, uh, then I can yank them in somewhere else. Now I think by default, uh, that's not VS, it might just be capital V, but I remapped it because, uh, you know, there are some things I, I wanted to... There are just a lot of things I actually remapped, but I think it makes more sense. Um, but also you can, uh, as I said before, UV to un, uh, uh, visual unselect and UI to unpaste in case it annoys you the way they look. Um, but you can also do things like VA to uh, highlight all or toggle all from being highlighted or stuff like that. So that's visual selection. Um, now I should say in addition to this stuff, this is basically the basics of uh, copying and pasting and you know making files, moving around. Um, now I should say that there are a lot of settings you can set. I'll go ahead and pull up the config files uh, or at least explain them. So if I go to, oops, let's say I go to, well maybe I'll CD in there just cause why not. So if you go to the Ranger configs, um, there are a couple different files here. The important ones are commands, uh, commands full and commands. That's where you can put Python scripts that you can run as commands in Ranger. That's nice for adding uh, things. Um, there is rcconf is the main config file. So if I open rcconf, this is where you can set all the settings, all the visual settings. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see that I actually have a bunch of different, like, you know, here are some things that I added in capital V to open Vim, MKD to make a directory, all that kind of stuff I've, I've mapped in here. Um, so this is where you do all the main modification and I've thrown a whole bunch of stuff in there. Oh, I didn't talk about bulk, bulk rename, but so I said CW is rename a file. Um, Ranger has this nice built-in thing called bulk rename. So if I highlight multiple files and press C capital W, that's what I've remapped it to. It opens all the file names in Vim and I can, you know, make some kind of changes to all of them, you know, run some kind of Vim command on them that makes editing them easy, easy and then save and exit. Uh, there's actually a, a previous video when I, when I, uh, I think I did a video on something like that, but you can check it out. Um, so anyway, that, that's all the basics of the RC conf. You can pretty much just do whatever, any kind of script you can run in, you know, the shell you can run here. Uh, you can feed files, the file that you have selected into one of these commands as uh, colon or percentage sign F and everything that you have selected is percentage sign s just so you know um, now the other important files you will there are is rifle so rifle.conf you might not be doing as much uh, changing in this file but um, it basically determines what files ranger is going to use to open um, some kind of file type by default. So you can see, oh, well, if it's a video file, it uses MPV and all of the, you, there's basically all these different programs that you can throw into, um, you know, if there's some program that you use that's very irregular, all you have to do is throw it in here and it will look for it by default. Um, and I think all of these are ordered in terms of what Ranger is going to run first. So for example, if we're talking about these PDF doc, um, open, you know, uh, excuse me, PDF uh, programs, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's gonna run the one, it's gonna look for the one that is here first, first. And if you don't have any of these installed, it's going to go with this by default, for example, the one that's lower. Um, so that is the rifle config. And the only other thing is scope.sh, which is a very interesting file as well, because you'll notice when I scroll over things, they will appear as previews. Um, and I can also, if I go over this, um, 
you know, file I have here that, that I made in Vim, you can see the a preview of the text. And the scope file is what determines what kind of preview you're going to see when you're actually running something uh, or you sort of mouse over something in Ranger. So that's what that is for. So you can do stuff like view PDFs and stuff like this. Um, you can probably just, I'll put a link to my dot files and it has all, I guess all the bells and whistles. Um, but two other things, two other little notes, additions to my Ranger config. Um, one is uh, Fuzzy Finder. Uh, now, Gotbledu did a video on this a while ago. It's an extremely useful command to integrate into Ranger. And that is, I have Control F map to Fuzzy Finder. Now, in this directory, there's not much stuff, but you know, if you're working with your documents directory and you have hundreds and hundreds of files, it's very nice because you can pretty much, you have a fuzzy finder, you can just type in some letters and it's going to try and find what fits best with that. Now that's not in Ranger by default, it's an extra command you can put in, uh, but you can check my dot files or look for Gotbledu's original video on that. I don't think, I don't know if he made the Ranger thing, maybe he got it from someone else, uh, but check out his video on that for that. Um, the only other thing that I, I use all the time and is a, a an addition to Ranger is Shortcut Sync, which is something... Uh, I've, uh, I forgot to pull it up before I started the video, um, but on my uh, GitHub, I have this nice little script that will auto-generate um, basically shortcuts in Ranger. For example, when you're often using a whole bunch of different uh, directories all the time, like I have dozens and dozens of directories that I keep my files in and they're all meticulously sorted because uh, I have so much stuff. Um, it's nice having shortcuts to each of those individual um, directories. So what I did is I made a nice little script and what this script does is uh, it uses a file that looks like this, um, where you have, you know, basically directory names and then key sequences that correspond to them. And what the script does is it takes this and generates basically Ranger, um, your Ranger shortcuts for them automatically. So notice that, you know, H is my home directory or B is books or, you know, A is articles or something like that. Um, and I can use those key sequences to actually jump to different directories. So if I want to go to my articles directory, I press G and then A for articles or G H for home. Or if I want to, let's, um, let me actually go back to this file. Let's say I want to move this file to my home directory. I can just press M and then H. And you'll see if I GH to go to home, you'll see that it is now there. Um, so I have G for go, Y for yank, like copy, like capital Y, uh, M for move, and T for create a tab in the other directory. So if I do like T capital D, that creates a tab in my downloads folder. And you can see the tabs up here. You can go back and forth with like tab or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now, as I said, Ranger is, it's a kind of program that is arguably, for many tasks, it's actually just as good as like knowing, uh, you know, using console commands and stuff. We're doing pretty advanced stuff. And there are a lot of advantages since you can use like rifle and scope to like automatically decide what kind of programs you want to open or how you want to pre preview files or something like that. So I find it very, very easy to use and it's very manipulatable. So again, if you want my config files, they are on my GitHub. Um, you can get them. I'll put a link all to that and check out Gotbledu's video on the uh, Fuzzy Finder. But anyway, that, that should be about it. That was a lot, but uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time.